I'm now check out that new Maverick hoodie, bro. The metallic chrome Maverick. It looks so fresh. And when we take it off, we got this shirt you saw yesterday. Yo! Maverick merch, baby. We are innovating the game. We are lighting up the world. Now you might be wondering where the money for this new car came from, and the answer is ShopMrBeast.com, home of the funniest shirts on the internet. I mean, the only time that's ever happened... I mean, so that, fuck. <laughs> Yo, it worked though, it worked, man. I fuck with it. Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the white vans. But nowadays I really miss my fucking idols, so that's the title. I grab a Bible, pray for my rivals. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to my brand new video. Thank you for stopping by. Sorry if I sound a little bit different. I think I'm a little sick. So, like, I, my voice might just sound a little fucking weird, or, or it might sound normal. I really don't know. I just know I am not feeling myself right now. But, uh, yeah, before I actually jump into the actual point of this video, by the way, this is a story video. I'm going to tell you guys uh, the, the big car accident I got in. I think I re-uploaded the video that I talked about the first type of car accident thing I was in. But this video is going to be me talking about my actual car accident I got in earlier this year. Like, January 5th it happened, I believe. If I remember correctly, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna do my research in five seconds. I, could, I think it was it, it was the fifth of January this year, or like sometime around that. But anyways, I'm gonna get into talking about my merch, bro. So I think two videos ago, I told you guys I was gonna try to make merch because you guys were asking me. The biggest request was you guys wanted merch of my like granny and like quesadillas. So I'm gonna show that right now. I got a picture of my granny. I'm, I'm like, yo, Granny, yo, Granny, take a selfie with me. <laughs> I'm like, put your, the, do like a signal or like the peace sign or some shit, Granny. Do, do, do some crazy shit. And then like, I, I, I like had her take a selfie or whatever like that. Or like, I, no, sorry, 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 sorry. I took a selfie. I was like, hey. And then I made it all transparent and I put her on the shirt. I thought it looked pretty cool. Every, uh, cause I, I have two other shirts. Every shirt has like the same type of background on it. It has my profile picture and then my, my, uh, channel link. Just so like you know it's my merch you know because the whole point of buying my merch is like you're supporting me and, and you like my channel so you want to rep that you watch my channel you know what i'm saying oh my god my nose is fucked right now i do not feel good bro but uh yeah uh next merch is the i'm bad at video games merch which i'm showing like right now you know slowly showing you it i thought this looked pretty cool i thought this could relate to a lot of people most people that watch me play video games so i'm like this could probably relate to the people that play video games because i feel like none of us are super good at video games well we're, we're all equally bad at video games so why not you know tell everybody let everyone let the world know that you're bad at video games like what do you have to hide you know and then the last shirt i made was uh <laughs> Your mom gay shirt. Like, I have just a random, like, uh, stick figure saying, Your mom's gay. And then, I, and then I have, like, an alien, which is, like, basically me, kind of, saying, At least my dad isn't lesbian. And <laughs> I thought it looked pretty cool. A uh, few people told me they liked it. So, uh, yeah, I just want to announce my merch really fast. I, uh, I'm i pretty sure I'm going to edit it out. So, whenever I'm talking about the certain merch, I'm going to show it on the screen. It kind of depends how lazy I am. I mean, I, I'm not feeling lazy tonight, so I'm probably going to actually make this video, like, kind of more, more edited than, than my recent videos. But, uh, yeah. Now it's time to jump into the actual part of the video, you know. What, what you clicked on, the whole, like, uh, you know, driving cars into walls and doing 360s. Alright, so first, I'm going to tell you guys what actually made me want to tell this story which is basically a story in itself so essentially you guys are getting two stories in one video so you know that's pretty cool like whatever so when i told you guys i was gonna hang out with all my friends because two of my friends were leaving for the army first of all i was wrong they're actually leaving for the marines i don't know the difference it's, it's confusing i think like the marines fight on the water and shit and like the army people fight like on the uh, on the land and stuff but I, I could be wrong i don't know the difference you guys can let me know the difference i'm kind of too lazy to search up the difference <laughs> but uh so after we were done hanging out i had a lot of fun we were playing basketball and shit we had pizza shit was really fun but after we were done hanging out um my friend uh, i don't want to say his name his uh, i'm gonna call him um eleanor i i guess that works so eleanor was driving me home and we're having this like deep conversation about like 
uh, what, what type of cheese sticks are the best cheese sticks, you know, just random shit, bro. We were talking about, um, I don't know, um, how, how large bears are or some shit, dude. No, we were just, like, talking about random shit, uh, when we were driving, and we were pretty close to my house. We were about to get home, and we were going down this road, and it was pretty dark and shit, you know? No one was around. Like, there was no other cars around that I could see or remember, and, uh, out of nowhere, um, there was just shit in the street. There was, um... You know, you would think maybe, I don't know, maybe a plastic bag or like a can, like a monster can or some shit in the street. Nah, man, there was fucking not one, but two mailboxes in the street. And we didn't really see him at uh, first because first it was, you know, it was pretty dark. And uh, we just kind of like ran them over. Um, they were just in the middle of the street, dude. Just like the, like the heads of mailboxes were just in the middle of the street, like out of nowhere, not even close to any houses. It was the weirdest shit ever, right? So when we ran him over, it, the shit started making like the loudest sound I've ever heard. It sounded like a thunderstorm was right under us. Like, it was like fucking scary. And because uh, of my accident that I had, like, um, I, I don't know. When I went to the doctor, ever, like I went to the doctor for my injuries and stuff. And I told him how like, like when I'm in the car, I kind of like don't feel so good and stuff like that. Like I get nervous or whatever. They uh, said that I might have PTSD. So when that happened, I was uh, a little bit nervous. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't really care, though. But uh, after we, like, ran over the mailboxes, obviously, you know, there's fucking, there's a thunderstorm happening under us. We needed to stop. So um, we pulled into this neighborhood. And right away, obviously, because the shit's loud as hell, this, like, old lady, like, pops out of the house. And I forget what she said at first. Like, I guess she just asked what's going on or something like that. I, I forget, right? And, um, yeah, so we're chilling. We, we, uh, look at what's going on. There is, like, one mailbox in, like, the front left, kind of. The, like, uh, the front bumper or, like, the front, like, under the front had something, like, hanging loose a little bit. And then, uh, we, we were able to get the first mailbox out. And we, uh, I think he, my friend was able to fully fix whatever was, like, loose or whatever. Um, he got it, like, back to where it was actually supposed to be. But then there was, like, a mailbox by the far right tire stuck. So, um, we didn't want to, like, force anything out and, like, break the car. So, my friend called his parents over and, like, they, like, helped us or whatever. And, uh, when, when his parents got there, like, his dad got it out or whatever. But right when he got the mailbox out, the same old lady came out. And she was like, what are you guys doing? Where is the mailbox? Don't you dare put it on my property and shit like that. She's like, you put it on my property, I will call the police. You, 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 you better take it with you or I'm gonna call the police. And it just kept, like, saying stuff about police. And she actually called the police, I think. Like, I don't think she was calling one of her friends. Like, she called the police, like, um, what the hell did she say? Wait, I, I remember hearing her say something. Oh, yeah, she was like, they, they just ran over a mailbox and they just left it in the street. <laughs> and, um, when she kept, uh, I think, yeah, 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 yeah. When she kept saying that she was going to call the cops, my friend's dad <laughs> was pretty savage. He was like, just do it. <laughs> I don't care or something like that. It was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, because of that whole thing that happened, the whole, like, because I got really, I, like, I got, a, like, not a really, really nervous, but, like, I knew nothing was going to happen, but I was a little bit nervous. Like, it reminded me of what actually happened when I got in the car accident, and because that happened, I thought it would be a perfect time to talk about the accident. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> Say some fucking gay shit. I'm gay. <laughs> Bro, I keep trying to record this and I keep like coughing or sneezing and it's starting to piss me off, dude. I'll be like about to finish the commentary or like this part of it and I'll just like have the fattest cough in the fucking world and it's so annoying. Anyways, I feel like the best way to begin this story is to talk about why I was in the car in the first place really fast. So, at the end of 2017, I was trying to be a basketball star. I joined some basketball rec a recreational league, and I also joined this gym that had a basketball court, and I was training, like, I'm not over-exaggerating, um, every day for three or four weeks, uh, for, like, ten hours, around, or, like, eight to ten hours. And I, I feel like, I don't know, actually, that's a lot of time. Like, I feel like it's a lot of time, but maybe you guys can hit me up and be like, yo, yeah, bro, I, I, I train 16 hours a day. I don't eat. I don't drink. I just train. I, I don't hang out with friends. I, I, don't, I don't play video games. All I do is train, and uh, I mean, I'm proud of you, man. But uh, I put a lot of time into it, and I actually wanted to do good and stuff like that. And um, I was in the car because I had to go to practice for my rec recreational team or rec team, whatever you call it. 
Uh, also, I feel like I should bring this up. Before this, I never played on an organized basketball team, really. The only time I can really refer to is when I was like maybe 9 or 10. I joined one league for like one game. I had the ball maybe two times. The one time I got fouled, I think, and the second time I shot and made it in. So I was basically one for one. I never missed a shot ever in my whole career. And uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll stop talking about basketball. I know you guys don't want to hear about it. But uh, basketball is still really cool, though. Basketball is really fun, bro. <laughs> Anyways, uh, something that, that really sucked about the whole car being totaled thing was that my mom just got this car like a week prior, maybe less than a week. Got a brand new car. She was hyped, bro. Like, she was so happy because she had this like one red car for so long, dude, like a long ass time. And she finally got a new car. She's happy as hell. She actually bought it because she's been renting cars for a while. I think it's what you call it. I think I think you call it rent uh, uh, renting. I don't know if there's like a fancy word for it, but I think you use the word rent. I, I don't know, man, or lease, I think maybe. I, I, does it matter? Probably not. But she finally bought the car and she was the fucking happiest ever. Anyway, uh, anyways, so. I'm gonna start this story from like when I wake up kind of you know because that just makes sense also but just like I said it made sense to tell you guys why I was in the car uh, so you know I just woke up probably a normal day I don't remember if I, if I went to school or not I probably woke up chugged the monster and got up and shit um, again I don't know I don't know if I, I really forget I, I think I think it was the day back and I probably decided not to go because I was tired even though I had a month, you know, it doesn't make sense. Any <laughs> Anyways, so whatever, whatever happened during the day, right? Um, I, I probably played Overwatch for a few hours or something. I, I definitely did now I think about it. I think I was like upstairs just playing Overwatch the whole day. And uh, it was time for basketball practice. So, you know, I had to leave a little early because my sister had singing lessons which was um, like um, in some place by like a beach or whatever. It was like kind of out of the way. So we had to like leave early to get her so then we can get her on time and then go to the basketball place, which kind of sucks. Uh, the one thing that really sucked about the basketball recreation league uh, was it was really far away. Like the place was so nice, bro. It was so like nicely organized and looked really nice, but it was like half an hour, 40 minutes away. So we had to leave like sur super early to always like go there. So uh, yeah, uh, so we left the house. I'm sorry, I I'm like out of it right now. I'm trying to get this video out and I'm like really like, I don't feel good and I'm tired. So I might not sound like, I'm awake because I'm not awake. I, I don't know, man. Fucking hell. I need to get, I need to tell the story. All right. So when we left the house, my mom was saying like, oh my God, this car is so fast. Vroom, vroom. And she was just acting like really cringy and weird. It was really funny. And like, I didn't think anything of it. She was like, look how fast this car can go. Look how fast it like uh, goes, man. Oh my God. And then uh, she went from that, like super happy and stuff to like, I, I don't think I should be driving. I'm really tired. When she was just like legit, like super loud and shit. I'm like, mom, are you good? Like, is, some, is there something wrong? So we're like, I think we're like halfway there. She's not saying anything. And we're like three quarters of the way there. We're like literally on the street practically about to like turn to the dance, uh, not dance, uh, the uh, singing place or whatever and uh some car stops right in front of us like abruptly stops because there was like a bike crossing and um bad bad stuff happened bad 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 not good so i don't i don't i wasn't staring at my mom i mean like i was in shock i didn't know what to do i just remember like uh, how do I explain it? I just remember a big ass boom. I didn't hear a break. I didn't really he hear anything. I I don't know if my mom accelerated or braked or I don't think she breaks. I didn't hear the break. I just think she didn't know what happened. And uh, let's just say I didn't feel anything. But all I felt like I didn't feel anything physically. I just felt fear. Like it was just like fear and confusion. And I was just like what the hell is happening like i'm used to like when i'm with my friends and stuff driving around at least when we used to drive around a lot when it was all hype that everyone's driving 
my friends used to always joke around get super close to each other and stuff and like like you know just joke around and stuff driving so i thought my mom was not joking around but i thought she was gonna stop i thought she knew what she was doing i didn't expect to hit the car you know and also something that was really uh, interesting about the whole thing was i was listening to eminem's uh, Re uh, revival album and i forget what song it was it, it was one of the last songs and like eminem's basically was talking about how well not talking but like he was it was like a scene kind of in the song where like he's dying or whatever and he's saying bye to his family and stuff like pulling the plug and like right when that's playing that's when we my mom drove right into the car or whatever and like i don't know that 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 was really weird to me like i was like what the fuck also i don't know if you guys have ever been in a car accident before or ever seen an airbag go off really i mean i never saw one go off before the accident so i i didn't really know any better but i'm pretty sure it's a normal thing to happen but uh when we hit the car or in better words minivan um airbag deployed and there was like smoke everywhere i think it's normal but i didn't know this was supposed to happen because i've never seen an airbag go off so my first thought first of all being surprised that i just fucking propelled got propelled into a fucking suv minivan thing um seeing smoke i automatically think fire and i'm panicking in this you're not panicking really, that's a bad word i'm more or less being like fuck i need to get the hell out of this car like i've never like moved so fast in my life dude like it's like there wasn't even a door there there wasn't like the door didn't fall off but <laughs> um i like fucking opened that door so fucking fast dude i was like what the fuck is going on here um as i told you guys i didn't feel much physical pain at the beginning i think it's like in general and i think the word is I, th I completely butchered that but like some science shit caused me not to feel any pain until later on but i got right out of the car and it was weird the suv or, or minivan car thing was nowhere to be seen i th originally thought i didn't know i went like why the fuck would they leave because we hit them but um it was like gone it i think i don't know exactly i didn't really talk to the people i don't know if they i don't think they drove over i think it because they were in drive obviously when we hit them because it wasn't in brake they just like idled over but when i mean that, ca that car suv thing was so far away it was like a football field away bro like i couldn't see it if i wanted to almost like it was the shit was so far away and uh really fast i'm gonna show you guys what my mom's car looked like after we hit this suv like i mean i feel like it's pretty bad here's the video So this video basically explains why cars are my kryptonite, why I completely despise motor vehicles, dude. I fucking hate cars. I hate being by cars. I hate driving cars. I hate everything about cars except what they look like because some cars can look really cool, bro. But like, I don't know. I just don't like cars. I don't feel safe in cars at all, man. Um, I don't know if you blame me or you guys think I'm a pussy or something. I just don't like cars. I, I never like cars really, like being in them and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, really fast. I want to thank one of my friends. Uh, I don't want to, again, I don't, I don't like name people by their names or whatever, so I'm going to call them FoosyTube. So a few years back, I think actually my freshman year, um, you know, I don't, I don't know if we were friends back then, but, um, he got into like a major car accident like a major one i forget exactly what happened i just remember hearing he was like he wasn't his his friend was going over 100 miles per hour and i'm pretty sure he wasn't wearing his seatbelt. and uh he went flying out of the car and when i mean he got really hurt he got really hurt he had like nerve damage in his hand i mean i don't think i should go into like super in-depth details about that but he got really hurt and like i used to always play uh ps4 with him if he sees this man i want to keep playing with you bro hit me up but <laughs> but um so one day he was saying like always wear your seatbelt and shit i forget if he was joking or not but when he said that it always stick like like stuck in my head to always wear my seatbelt because beforehand like my i, I don't want to say like 
no one really told me you better wear your seatbelt like that like you know no, no one told me that right so I mean chances are I probably wouldn't have worn my seatbelt when I got in the action and I probably would have got really hurt now I'm not gonna say I would have died is there a chance I could have died yeah there's probably like a like a 40 50 percent chance I could have died in that situation man like you never know what could happen so I just thought it'd be the right thing to do to thank him man and I haven't talked to him for a bit I don't know how his like recovery is going I mean it's been a while but I'm pretty sure he's still hurt so uh, I really do hope he gets all recovered and stuff and uh, I, I hope because I'm probably gonna send this video to him and say I'm probably gonna tell him that I, I like talked about him a little bit or something <laughs> And uh, ho hopefully he watches the whole video and he hits me up. He, he hits me up back and he asked me to go play like fucking video games or something. You know, you know, I'm probably if he watches this, we're probably going to end up playing Black Ops 4 Blackout. Because I think I think the open beta comes out tomorrow. So, yeah, bro, if you see this video, if you watch this whole video when I send it to you, hit me up, bro. We could run some squads with like uh, fucking... Um, what did I, what was the fake name I gave the one to, uh, Eleanor, yeah, 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 we, we run some squads at Eleanor, bro. By the way, for any of you guys that actually care, for the most part, I didn't get many injuries that I know of from the accident right now, obviously there might be some stuff that happens like years down the road or something, but uh, the only problems I have right now is I get knee pains pretty often, like, just like in my left knee is the worst really. Um, because I, I didn't mention this before actually, um, the, I was sitting in the front seat and there was all stuff in the front seat and stuff. So I was sitting like sideways, there was a backpack there and I was like sideways and my left leg was like, like really positioned weird around the backpack. So I believe like when I got in the accident, some weird shit happened with my leg that caused me to have a little knee pains, but it's whatever, man. Um, but other than that, uh, nothing hurts me right now. When I first got to the hospital, my neck was bothering me a lot, but that kind of went away. Hopefully it doesn't come back and hurt me in like a few years, man. That would really, really suck. Uh, wait, one, one more thing I should really mention that was really funny. Uh, when they were taking me out of the ambulance or whatever, and I was on the stretcher, the fuckers dropped me, bro. Like, they had some like weird like technology that would get me out of the am ambulance and down or whatever. Like, they had, like, like tools and shit, and they fucking dropped me, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what do you do? You're supposed to save me, not hurt me, bro. Like, damn, not not epic. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it sucks I got in the accident, man. It, it, it was not a good experience. Um, I would definitely not recommend it. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I forgot to mention in the beginning when I was talking about my merch, all the links are going to be in the description. I'm probably going to add like a little text in the beginning of the video about that. I just thought I should say it verbally. And uh, if you guys have any questions about my accident that I didn't uh, address or also if you guys have any video ideas or anything you guys want me to talk about in a video, let me know. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys next video. You know, now that I think about it, I probably just shouldn't end the video here. Uh, because I don't think I'm going to be uploading for the rest of the week. And, I mean, maybe I'll decide to if I get angry at Black Ops 4 or some shit. But the open beta is coming out 1 p.m. tomorrow. Or today, basically, because it's 5 a.m. for me. I've been up all night doing this. Well, not all night. I've been up... I've been recording this commentary for like three, four, five hours because like I, I recorded a few times, you know, because sometimes like I don't know my like pop pop will wake up and make loud ass sounds to go to the bathroom or some shit like like he'll open the door and the door is loud or whatever and I'll, I'll have to restart and then it just takes fucking time or let's just say I think I said before like I'll cough out of nowhere and then <laughs> I have to restart all another part of the commentary and you know it's just you know time like that and then also like the actual editing of it. Like, like when I was making uh, the pictures for, uh, to show you guys my merch or whatever, along with uh, what else took some time? Um, when I was downloading videos, uh, like uh, the I'm gay video, because I got rid of all my downloaded videos from the other videos or whatever, uh, because of like space on my computer. My computer is slow, so it takes time to open up pages and stuff. So like I've been making this video for a while. I don't know why the fuck I'm talking about this. I'm just trying to tell you guys that I'm going to put a few clips from my stream on here 
so it you know it puts a little bit more content for you guys to watch in case I don't make a video for a few days uh, just to keep you guys entertained you know what I'm saying bro so I hope you guys enjoy the few clips I put here I'm probably not gonna talk anymore in this video I'm probably just gonna keep doing the uh, Call of Duty clips and then I'm going to like put some random clip like I did with Keemstar or the uh, Walmart thing <laughs> but uh, yeah I'll see you guys next video enjoy my little Black Ops 4 clips I got a weapon don't worry I feel like duos are gonna be a lot easier than playing solos just cuz like they're playing duos for a reason cuz they can't win solos you know what the fuck is this Fuck, I hate this, I hate this. Oh, That's fuck, I hate that. Man. I hate that RGB scope. I didn't expect one to come in. Oh my god, I think I fucked him up though. I, I definitely did a shit ton of damage. Yeah, he was on the 26, yeah, as I thought. Yeah, um, how you kill... I'll talk to you You need to like... Someone down there, bro? Oh, someone's up here, what the fuck? Where is this guy? Fuck it, dude. I'm Let's just gonna. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. I want to take a chance, to be honest. Oh. Fuck! Fuck! I knew it was somewhere. Fuck! That scared me. I know there's a guy in here. Oh, that's gun's so shit, dude, I swear. I had a fucking actual gun, he would've died. I knew he was like, oh, he was so close, too. Fuck. I hate that gun. It does, like, no damage. Oh, there's a kill cam. Wait. A kill. It's a kill cam. Let's see this. Let's see how, how skillful this guy is. Zero kills. Excuse me. Doesn't even hit me at the end. Okay. Someone left me, I think. Oh, there's a mine in here somewhere. Really, you playing games, bro? Oh, so close. What is he on? What is he on, dude? Ah, oh, he was so close, bro. It's hard to hit moving targets, dude, far away. Ooh. Why are you running, bro? Oh, he's in there. No. That's level 3 armor, oh, bro. Oh I'm my god, I fucked him up. Oh shit. Okay, Sam. Oh. Oh. Oh, he just got fucked. <laughs> Fuck. He's behind that rock. I know that much. Fucking bitch. That's awkward. What? How does that not hit? This is fun, though. Oh my god, it's so fun sniping. I just, I need to get better at it. He probably has no idea where I'm at. He's probably like, there's someone in here with me. He's <laughs> probably fucking really confused. Oh, fuck. He's probably confused as crap. Yeah, I mean, I would be so confused if someone just shoot me, fucking shoot me from the grass. This is so cool. This is so funny, dude. <laughs> I saw someone in there. 
Wait, is this still good? So this should be good too, so I'll just start using it. Oh, 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 there's like people having war on the left of me. Well, this guy has to be in this corner, so like, he's kind of limited where he can go, so I'll just keep waiting for him. Oh, shit. Oh shit, what the hell? He saw me? Ah, uh, it's all good. Well, he's somewhere in here because his car is right there, so he's somewhere in this town. Somewhere. I think he might be in this. Nope. Fucking bitch. By I, tr I tried meleeing him. Oh shit. Oh, wait. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, right. there was a car. There, yeah, 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 there was a car. What the fuck was? I'm going towards you, wherever you are. I'm going with you. No, 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 cuz we have a car. Oh fuck. I'm gonna get on the car. Oh shit. What the fuck? Alright, I'm on the car now. He like moved it. It fucked me up. I need to get off. I gotta heal. I'm sorry. Alright, so I'll get ready to drive. So like, I'll just drive you. So heal. Get on the car. Get on. Oh, what the fuck? Why is it stuck in here? Oh my god, we, we are fucked. Um. We're just gonna go. Let's just run. We're just gonna run. We're just gonna run. Oh shit. <laughs> We're definitely gonna die. <laughs> Definitely gonna die. <laughs> Maybe we can find a boat. <laughs> we can just drive the ATV in the water, man. <laughs> yeah, feels bad, bro. I guess the lighthouse isn't an option anymore. The lighthouse is good, though. You see all the loot there, though? There's so much shit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I think I only have like one like bandage, <laughs> like one little bandage thing. Oh my god, it's getting worse too. Fuck. Oh fuck. All right, I'll use it right now. Oh my god, we're so fucked. Yeah, I don't think we're, or, I don't know. At least we can make it into the top 30. <laughs> Someone's gonna die by the time we get over there. <laughs> okay, okay, we're in the top 30. I'll try. Oh god. You might make it. I'm dying fucking OD right now. Let's go for that win. Yo, Yusuf, I'm telling you, I don't know if we can go for the win this time. <laughs> Maybe we'll make it. I don't know. If we could run a little faster. If there was a speed glitch right here, we might make it. <laughs> I think I think he might make it if you still have the uh do you still have the trauma kit thing? Yeah, you you might make it. I'm not gonna make it, I don't think. Do 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 do. <laughs> We're close. I, I'm on 58 health. <laughs> this is gonna get bad. Maybe. Oh my God! I'm on 48. Bandages. Bandages in there. Bandages oh shit! Nothing in there. Bandages in the bridge. Keep going. Keep moving. All right. I got. I got. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, this is gonna be close. <laughs> to be honest, this is gonna be so fucking close. Oh god. I mean, if I get downed, I could just crawl the rest of the way. Hopefully, if it doesn't, if it doesn't like do extra damage to me, I could definitely crawl. If we make this, it's actually be fucking crazy. I'm going to make it. I could definitely crawl the rest of the way if I die. Yeah, yeah. Well, kind of. Essentially, I'm not gonna climb. I'm just gonna keep running. I didn't want to climb that little thing. Oh, I'm gonna make it. There's no way I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, but we need to keep running because in 
<laughs> fuck, fuck. I really hope there's. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I've like less than one shot, I feel like. I'm 21 health. I know I said I probably wasn't going to talk anymore in this video, but I just wanted to like point out like how I arrange these clips and stuff like that. So I thought it was funny because uh, I was looking back in my old live streams and stuff. I was like, you know, duos, people don't try that hard, you know, probably, or at least a little less than if they play in solos, you know, just makes sense, you know. Because when you're playing duos, some people are going to be joking around with their friends and stuff, things like that. But uh, I thought it was funny. After that, I just showed me like die like eight times in a row, just a bunch of times in a row. And then uh, the last clip uh, I put was when I literally thought the game was over. And I, I didn't add this into there or anything, but uh, I thought we were going to die in the storm. And we wound up being like the second uh, duo like like the top two duo or, or whatever so that was really cool but uh yeah i know this is gonna be like the second or third time i said this but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you next video i'm a firing my lady